PRC200SS is an aerolalkanolamine tri being developed by the Mayo Clinic. Sympathomimetic PRC200SS is the PRC050 eudimer, whereas PRC201 is the distimer. These compounds are preceded by venlafaxine, which Wyeth claims is the first SNRI. Venlafaxine was originally developed as an opioid, although original screening returned negative results. The authors were not satisfied just to drop venlafaxine from development and continued with their study of the compound's biological activity data. Herein, they discovered that venlafaxine exerts its biological actions via interaction with the monoamine receptors. In particular, the actions of the drug on increasing the amount of 5-HT and NA were documented, although with potentiated Analogues such as the PM dichlorophenyl ring substituted derivative, it might be expected to behave as a SNDRI also, but no data was available to support this inference. Venlafaxine itself has been said to behave as a SNDRI at very high doses. This would be more likely to be the case in drug-naive subjects than in users that have already built up significant tolerance. Silicon containing analog of venlafaxine was prepared and demonstrated to be an active SNRI. Chirality For venlafaxine, there is only one chiral center, although for the PRC compounds, there is a diastereoisomeric pair of racemers to consider. The exact choice of conditions, e.g., temperature and choice of solvent, etc., can be altered to try to increase the dia stereo selectivity. PRC050 is racemic SSRR, PRC025 is racemic senior RS, venlafaxine is racemic. PRC050 was further resolved into its constituent enantiomers, PRC200 SS and PRC201 RR, respectively. As can be seen in the above table, a high eudismic ratio exists for PRC050 with activity residing in the SS enantiomer PRC200. Type of amine In contrast to venlafaxine and PRC025, PRC050 is a secondary amine, and not a tertiary amine. This is like comparing amipramine with dizipramine, or amitriptyline with nortriptyline. N-demethylation has the effect of boosting noradrenergic activity, but does not increase binding to the dopamine active transporter. Transporter selectivity PRC025 has the in vitro mat order of potency S greater than N greater than D whereas for PRC050 the affinity for the transporters is N greater than S greater than D. Currently the thinking is that PRC050 should be preferred to PRC025 on the basis that it is the more potent of the two compounds. Liang and Richelson actually believe that a nomofensine type analog with an order of potency N greater than D greater than S would be optimal. Their reasoning for N greater than D is that this would limit abuse liability, and D greater than S is that this would lessen the risk of serotonin syndrome. Behavioral studies on rodents Only PRC200 was considered further in behavioral studies. PRC200SS is active in the FST and the TST at a dose of 5 mg per kilogram. Results are similar to amipramine. PRC200SS is much more potent than amipramine. 1 mg per kilogram of PRC200SS is approximately equals equivalent to 15 mg per kilogram amipramine. PRC200SS does not cause LMA and is not self-administered by the rodents, meaning it is unlikely to be reinforcing. Increasing the dose to 10 mg per kilogram does not enhance the activity of PRC200SS further, indicating that 5 mg per kilogram is the optimal dosage. Toxicity Trials of PRC200SS in Cinemalgus monkeys showed dose proportional kidney toxicity, with signs that the compound was damaging to the distal tubule and collecting duct. This adverse result makes it unlikely that PRC200SS will be developed for clinical use in humans, though development of related compounds may well continue. 
Microdialysis Concentrations of Na, 5-HT, DA, DOPAC, HVA, and 5-HIAA, were measured in the MPFC and NAC, respectively, at 10 mg per kg Na concentrations were increased by C, F. Approximately 700% respectively in the MPFC. This is in contrast to the core of the NAC where concentrations of Na were not elevated at all. The authors rationalized that this is because all the net dense fibers tissue lies in the NAC shell and not in the core. In the MPFC concentrations of DA were not elevated at all. Authors claim that this is because of the low density of DAT tissue in the MPFC. However, in the core of the NAC, DA concentrations were elevated by C, F, approximately 160% upon administration of 10 mg per kg of PRC200SS. This is consistent with the drop in cytoplasmic concentrations of HVA and DOPAC that were also measured in this brain region at this dose. An elevation in the concentration of 5-HT and reduction in the concentration of 5-HIAA were measured, particularly in the MPFC. However the percent change from baseline was less than expected on the basis of the in vitro measurements that were recorded. Authors resorted to the theory that is known about 5-HT1A and related autoreceptors to try to help account for this observation. SAR. In the initial assessment of these compounds, analogs displaying an increased role at the DAT relative to the other two transporters was sought. Syntheses Nitrile aldol conditions ensures desired anti-addition product. Patents U.S. Patent 6069177 U.S. Patent 6,700,018 U.S. Patent 6,914,080 U.S. Application 11,529,441 Latest developments Rickelson, et al., have continued modifying the basic structures. Original document, U.S. 2013,059,864 The 7th of March 2013 Original document, U.S. 2,012,220,665 The 30th of August 2012 For example, if read this citation it can be read what is happening, get the basic PRC200SS structure, then undergone further chemical permutations. Plus SOCL2 MCJ001 CLSS Plus DAST MCJ001 FSS Plus HN3, PPH3 Dyad MCJ001 N3SS References <references>